There are several steps that I want you to do as we go through this process of creating a bootable USB key of CentOS 8 OS. The first thing we want to do is we want to go to centos.org. Once we're in centos.org, we want to go to download. Having gotten to download, we want to go down to graphical mirrors. So this is a list of places where you can get the software. So inside the graphical mirrors, we're going to type in US, Hawaii. Straight away, we get this location. We choose this location because generally, if a location is physically close to you, it will download faster. So we go into these mirrors. And here are all the versions of CentOS that currently exist. We want the latest, 8.2.2004. Inside here, we want to go in and we want to go into ISOs. Inside ISOs, we want to go into x86 because that's the architecture we use. Inside here, we want to have a look at this DVD. So it's an 8 gig DVD. So go ahead and click on it. And here we can see it starting to download. Going to take about 18 minutes. Okay, so that download is complete. Here is the ISO, ISO, which is standard format for a DVD. This can now be written to a USB to uh, be bootable. So the next thing we want to do is we actually now need to download the piece of software that we're going to use to create that connection. So if we just type in Rufus here, uh, we find the official site for the Rufus download. Here it is here. We actually don't want this version. I've had some problems with it recently and we want to go to uh, some old versions. So to get to another version we just scroll down past Rufus 3.11 and here we have other versions. We click on this which is inside GitHub and the version that I'm finding works the best is actually 3.4. So here's 3.4 of Rufus, so we can grab that and in a minute we see it starting to download. I already happen to have it on this computer, but that's okay. And so here is Rufus 3.4. So what I can do now is I can hop into my downloads. I can find Rufus with an R and there's Rufus 3.4. I start that up and we say yes. And it's appeared in my other screen, so let's just minimize these. And we'll bring Rufus over here. Now, I need to go grab a USB key. So, here are all my USB keys in a nice little bundle. So I'm going to grab one of these and put it into uh, my computer. And here it is, it's come up here as Anaconda. Now let's just check to make sure it's big enough. And it is 8.2.2.0.0.4. Not really seeing how big this is. So what I can do is I can go ahead and I can go down, click on my start, right click computers, go to manage. And this loads up the management console for Windows. So here's manager. I go to disk management. And in just a second it will find it. Here it is. I don't think this is going to be big enough. So I won't use this one. It needs to be over 8. So generally I like to use a 16 gig uh, USB. So what I'm going to do is I'll right click this and eject. And I'm safe to take it out. So let's put in another one. This is a, a 16, 16 big, 16 gig, 16 gig. So I'll put that in. Now here it is. It's called an Anaconda again. Uh, now if I go to that monitor. down here and let's have a look properties uh, it's still not really telling me the size there so just a sec let's get that manager back up again 
and good. Here we see that that USB is actually uh, 15 gigs in size. So that'll work fine. So over here in Rufus, we say, okay, we want to grab that 16 gig hard drive. So you might be wondering, why does one thing say 15 gig and the other say 16 gig? Well, this is a little bit of trickiness that manufacturers often do. This is most likely 16 billion bytes. But when computers look at it because of base 2, 16 billion bytes becomes 15 billion. To really be 16 billion, they would have to have 16 billion 656 million. A little bit of trivia. Okay, so that's all good. That's a, Anaconda is fine. We want to grab the uh, boot selection is fine. And let's go ahead and select. We go into my downloads. Downloads, downloads. Let's get rid of the preview. Let's sort by date. Ah, there it is. CentOS, open. And now that's put the, the correct label down in here that we want to see. CentOS 8.2. And now we click on Start. And that is good. And OK. It's going to destroy everything. OK. And now it has started the whole process. This is going to take a while, so I will pause now and return once it's ready. Okay, so that took a while, but we're finished. Here it is here. It says we're ready to go, one device found. If we look in the folder now for the USB, we can see that it is effectively sitting there with everything ready to go. So this means that I can unmount the uh, USB. So hmm, where to go? Eject. Okay, so now I can take that USB out. Come on. And here it is, ready to go. You can now take your USB. You can reboot the laptop or the PC that you're going to turn into a CentOS 8 server or CentOS 8 workstation and boot into that USB. So why don't you go ahead and do that and look for the instructions on how to do that in another video. Thank you very much.